Hey guys, Ike here from MikeSoutdoors.com. Today I'm here with Pro Staff Member Dodi McQuillan and we're going to talk about some stabilizers from Lights Out Archery. Uh, these are made by a local company, or Lights Out is a local company, and i uh, got a good chance to know the owner, Jess, and uh, Dodi's going to talk to you a little bit about the stabilizers, the advantage of them, and some of the machining behind them because he's a little bit more familiar with them than I am. Uh, basically, we've, he, he makes several different models. Um, they're a modular design. Anything from you know, a very small hunting type stabilizer to a full on carbon with a machined insert. So this is 100% carbon yes. except for the insert. 100% yep. carbon, aluminum inserts, uh, drilled and tapped. Um, basically we have all the mounting mounting holes for any of the off the shelf type items. He uh, he uses a lot of uh, limb saver, doinker, and uh, bojack type uh, vibration dampeners. Basically a, a small two inch, like I said, totally modular design. You could take and uh, just put on a, then put on a, either a limb saver type dampener on the end. Um, you can also do that without the doinker. Uh, have a quick connect that mounts to your bow. You can just drop it in, tighten it down. And you've got a quick connect attached to your bow. Just a couple twists and it lifts it right out. And I tell you what, I like that combination with the doinker in the back and the limb saver in the front, just a little bit of material in the middle, mm -hmm. that's going to absorb a lot of vibration. Yes, it will. But this being back close to the riser will take a, lot of the, take a lot of vibration out of the riser and then also any of the vibration from the limbs out on, produced out on the end. Also go with a bow jack combination that has a, has a lead weight or a uh, brass weight on the end. Snug that down. Um, then you put another, put a, uh, wow. another limb saver out on the end. Basically, any combination that you can think of, you can put together and basically make this thing custom fit for how you want to use it. You take this and put it back here. And he has also available, what is this, a two inch? This is, this inch? is what he considers a two inch. Okay. Um, you can take the same setup, put it onto the carbon type. Have the same, same type of setup with the carbon, adding the weight on the end. There is some vibration dampening material that's pressed into this. Um, two different forms, just depending on what, what somebody would like. Uh, it's kind of a proprietary deal that he does, so I really don't want to talk a lot about that. But uh, he, can, he can pretty much put whatever kind of weight you want inside of it, uh, however much weight you want inside of it. Um, so you can really call Jess and get, he has standard off the shelf type mm -hmm. of stuff like this and you know the stabilizer here but you can call him and get you can call and uh, get completely custom link call or custom email weights yep. call, email yeah email probably be the best yeah way emails to emails about the best way to get a response back the quickest um but you can you can get whatever size weight you want you can get whatever type of vibrationing material dampening material you want inside of this also like i said you can add the doinker you can add a limb saver you can add a bow jack uh the quick connect and quick dis disconnect is probably one of the nicest features I think just because uh, if you pack your bow away or put it in a case or anything like that all you have to do is just a little screw take it out set it off the side come back place it back on the bow and you're ready to shoot you can get that in a straight or an 11 degree angle drop um, now this is your target or is that your hunting this is stabilizer. my hunting this is okay. my hunting um, stabilizer and then this setup here is what I use as my target stabilizer. Uh, if, I wanna, if I wanna shoot in just bow hunter class, I would shoot this. If I wanna shoot, you know, if I'm not concerned and shooting the open class, I'd add this in and, uh, oh, look out a piece. A little spacer here that goes in. And uh, for the open class where length is not an issue, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there. Have a little bit of weight out here on the end. Have a little bit of dampening material back here. And then I just have a limb saver that goes on the end of it. And that's basically my setup right there. So, and again, like I said, quick, quick connect, quick disconnect. Um, 
No. Any, any kind of color options? I see he's got a camo, a digital type of camo on. Right now. On the covers. Right now, you can either get the black or the digital camouflage. The uh, there were some issues with the uh, hydro dippers getting the um, other types of camouflage uh, with their licensing licensing ability. But uh, there's a new hydro dipper he is he is using that will uh, have all the licensing for all the real tree okay, and the, cool. and the uh, mossy oak. So you can oak get this ordered if you've got something, uh, some kind of mossy oak or something that they've got a license to, you can get this dipped in that right. type of camo to match your boat. Right. Um, basically, like I said, it's a modular design. This is what it looks like before it's had anything pressed into it. Um, now what do you mean modular design? Modular in that you can add or subtract any kind of componentry okay. you want to this. Uh, just based on what your tastes are, what your what your length okay. you want, what weight you want to shoot, anything of that nature. Um, and this is one that's been packaged up. Uh, again, it's Lights Out Archery. Uh, the email address to contact uh, Jess Baker would be uh, Lights Out Lights Out Archery at gmail.com. Um, and we're going to put a link on the Ice Outdoors website. It'll be a Lights Out, and we'll put that right on the links page, and you'll be able to hit it and contact Jess directly that way and I got to meet Jess this year we've done a little bit of 3d shooting with him and uh, super nice guy despite what he says he's a pretty good shot too so uh, <laughs> even though he he doesn't act like it most of the time but this is the first state this is my setup this is my new Valor and I got this uh, stabilizer from Jess oh, about a month ago now and I was having some issues actually with my insanity just not feeling right and I knew it was something in the way it was set up because it was the exact same bow I'd been shooting before and I just changed the setup. And we went over and I actually put this stabilizer on for the first time. And I think I won, what, 30 cents off of you? <laughs> I so think that's right. Won me some money the first night <laughs> out. And uh, really just shot good. It made the bow feel good and really balanced out. And I've shot this a couple times. Shot it at the R100. And I, like Dodie said, one of the nicest things I like about it is if I go to a shoot and they have the open class and the bow hunter class is here in the open class stakes there and there's only two guys in the open class I can shoot this full length and if I don't want if I'm going to shoot the bow hunter class I can break it right down if I want to put a different stabilizer on here I can if I don't I can take my front off screw my, my, my quick disconnect on there and put it right back on the bow and be shooting bow hunter class also when it comes time for uh, to be out in the woods all I'm going to do is break this in half I'm going to put that piece right there right here and connect it so i've got a nice short hunting stabilizer and a uh, target stabilizer built into one and this is my first experience with the carbon you know actual pure carbon and it not only looks great i mean that thing looks awesome but it really does because you got just a little bit of weight out here it really feels nice and this was what 24 inches long mm -hmm. yes, so it'd be about 12 inches if there, it's actually a little bit under, I think, so, right. he, so he made it bow hunter class legal. Yeah, well, we consider so, what he calls 12 inch is actually like 11 and 7 eighths, so that yeah. you're within the, within the realm of the bow hunter class. Yeah, so I like that. This stabilizer feels fantastic. I really like it. And uh, Well, the other nice thing about this is if you decide to go from a 24 inch to a 12 inch, and you want to have the same feel as what you had in a 24 inch, you can always put in your weight. Mm -hmm. on the end of this to give you the back the same weight and feel of the 24 inch it's just in a shorter package yeah i think what i'm going to do for hunting is i'm going to break this front off and i'm probably going to set it up similar to this i'm going to put that up against the bow and i'm going to put probably a max jack out here and, and i think that's going i think that's an awesome setup right there with that doinker back there behind it because that right there sitting right up against the bow is going to absorb a ton of vibration and just depending on what your preference is on weight or anything, or where the weight might be on the bow, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're going to have I like my weight out a little bit more toward the end, mm -hmm. but having that vibration dampening right up against the bow is awesome. Yeah. And also, he's uh, he's uh, building V-bars and uh, side stabilizers and mm -hmm. things of that nature, too, to uh, to get more into indoor-type archery, yeah. uh, get, get that group of people also that, yeah. that are interested in that. And again, it'd be all custom-made and all modular as well. That's the nice part about it, is being able to custom-make something, because, you know, there's, I'm real picky about the stabilizers <laughs> I shoot. If you look at the bows I shoot, every bow I shoot has a different stabilizer on it, because every bow I shoot fills and balances out different. And balance in here in my hand, I don't really care about what... I want the balance at full draw because that's where it matters to me 
and every bow feels different. Every bow's got a different axle to axle, and they all have a different stabilizer on them. And uh, so that's what I like. And having the ability to call Jess and get a custom stabilizer built uh, is a really good thing for me. I really like that having that option. So, and he also has custom string stops as well. Uh, you know, now, now that most bows on the market are coming out with those, uh, kind of there's a, a lot. You know, I see working in a in a pro shop. I still see a lot of guys, especially with the older Hoyts, mm -hmm. coming in and they want a string stop to stop the vibration. Because string stop, in my opinion, is the best thing that's ever made hit the market Absolutely. for vibration dampening. Yes, but the, it's hard to find them, and then you can order them and you don't know if it's going to fit. Right. So with Jess, you could probably take your boat to him. Mm -hmm. He can do some measuring on it and. And get you something built. So. Basically, if you can tell him what what bow you're shooting, he has pretty much a uh, a little book of uh, what dimensions he needs to build okay. that to, or he can make it where it'll slide in and adjust. Or he yeah, and that's the adjust. nice thing about like this one. This one has got to be a rear mount, but it I could take this off and I could put on any of my other bows because it will slide in mm -hmm. and out. Uh, now I'm sure Jess makes a front mount for those older bows, those stay, you know those ones that are hard to find. And older bows, if you want to revamp them, that's one of the best things to do is put a string stop on there because it's going to take a ton of vibration out. So really Jess can build you a custom custom string stop. Yeah, it'll really improve the repeatability of the bow also you bet. because it's uh, you know releasing the arrow at the exact same point every time. So. Yeah. So that's just a little bit of information on uh, Jess. Jess. Uh, What's his last name? Baker. Baker. Jess Baker. I want to call him David for some reason. <laughs> Jess Baker and the company is Lights Out Archery. And like I said, the email address is lightsoutarchery at gmail.com. And we'll put up a link on the website. It'll be a, a link that'll have lights out on there, and we'll, you'll be able to go right to it and contact Jess. If you have any trouble with that, you can also contact me at ikesoutdoors at yahoo.com. And I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. But we'll definitely give these a guy, give Jess a chance to. Uh, give you know give these a look and they're definitely worth the the money i think to have the custom customization that you can get with them i think they're excellent stabilizers so be sure to check that out lights out archery uh you can click the link right there on our website or you can email me for more questions so appreciate you guys watching